Hey guys, today is a Thursday, about a week and a half out from my second chemo infusion. Um, just wanted to give you an update on some of the kind of worst days, I guess. Uh, I don't think that I'm having that awful of a reaction to the chemo, but um, I am definitely having some side effects. So um, today I haven't even gotten out of bed and it's almost 12 30. Um, I've got headaches. My headaches have never gone away since we started this. Um, and I never used to get like migraines, which is what these are. Um, so that's the most annoying side effect. And then I'll randomly get days where I've got some fevers, um, getting a lot of gas, which is just causing some stomach pain. And, uh, my fevers are right around 101, 101.4. So, uh, Tylenol usually helps, but I've got to get fluids and food and everything else in me. Um, you know, I expect to feel better like 2 or 3 p.m. today, and I'll have a couple hours to get some things done. Um, but this is kind of the extent of what a a random kind of poor day feels like for me. Uh, very nauseous, but I haven't actually thrown up at all. Um, I've been taking a lot of nausea meds to try to avoid that because that's an awful feeling. Um, sorry, the video is a little shaky. I'm obviously laying in bed. Um, so this is kind of one of the worst days. And then, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday of this week, I felt pretty good. I went to work, worked full eight hours, uh, had meetings, saw customers, drove around, um, worked on the Miata a little bit, um, all kinds of things. So got to hang out with Cooper and play with him a lot. Um, Mother-in-law is in town right now, so she's been a huge help kind of keeping him busy while Colleen helps me on worse days. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll feel like this today and tomorrow it'll feel like nothing ever happened. So, um, I got blood work done on Monday. My INR was 1.1, which is good. Uh, that's a blood clotting factor. That was what I was hospitalized for last week. My bilirubin, however, jumped up to 18.2. So, as I look yellower and yellower on this camera that is what's going on with that um don't know if that level will come down uh kind of doubt it i've never seen it jump down like it's jumped up in the last three weeks so i personally think they just kind of destroyed more good liver than they meant to when they did the y90 procedure which is kind of a risky take when you do that, you know, it's radiation, it's super powerful radiation, but, uh, so I kind of got cut off yesterday with the update, um, about four o'clock I started feeling okay, and, uh, woke up, had some food, things like that, but then about eight, nine o'clock, I started getting pretty sick again, um, Fever went up to 101.8, and uh, I was shivering uncontrollably to the point where, you know, I was doing everything to just try to regulate my body temperature, and uh, overnight was a, a rough night. I had some vomiting, I had some, uh, you know, fevers, headaches, body sores, things like that, and um, got through that. Took some Tylenol, took nausea meds, um, had some some lighter snacks, things like that, and just tried to intake as much Gatorade and water as I could to try to get my body back to zero. Um, woke up this morning about 7, I still have a headache, my shoulder is killing me right here, but uh, I'm at work as you can tell and trying to go ahead and get through the day. Um, We've got chemo again on Monday. They're also installing my port on Monday. So we'll see how all of that goes. But uh, 
just wanted to finish the update. You know, I get, get days that are bad like yesterday, and then I get days that are fairly normal like today. Um, it's kind of hit or miss, and I no, never know what day is going to be like when I wake up. So, um, just uh, keep your calendar kind of open, I guess, and be ready for whatever comes your way. And um, that's the best advice I can give you. Try to stay hydrated. Try to keep ahead of the nausea with the medicine they give you. And um, just build your support around you with your friends and family and, and let them know what's going on and let them know how they can help because that's all they want to do. So I will get back to you guys uh, come Monday and uh, get the port installed, let you know what that was like, and get another dose of chemo. So we'll see how that goes. See ya.